These walls here were covered in plaster. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit of a different video. Today's video is a little bit of a tour and a little bit of a explanation. If you um, haven't been following my channel for very long, I'm gonna kind of explain a few things in, in my building and why we have this building and that sort of thing. But um, this is our building. It is about 2,500 square feet. It is in, located in Bedford, Indiana. It was built in 1893 in that time frame. Uh, so it is well over, well over 100 years old. It's a beautiful old big girl and we love her. When we bought the building, she needed some work. She needed some work. Um, I will turn the camera around and I'll explain some things. Some pictures here up on the screen that will show you a little bit, uh, give you a little bit better example of the condition that the building was in when we bought it. Um, but these walls here were, zoom out a little bit. These walls here were covered in plaster, just like these walls. They were painted fun colors too. This used to be a pet store. It was several things, but the business that it was before or before we bought it, it was a it was a pet store. Um, so we took down all of the plaster and we did it ourselves. And there was a time when you couldn't see your hand in front of your face because there was so much dust. We wore masks, we were careful, but it was a pretty big job. Um, you can probably see, hopefully see, there's a little bit there of wallpaper border that is original when the building was built. There's another little bit of it. It was original when the building was built. I didn't have the heart to tear it down. So we, we preserved it as much as we could and we just kind of left it up there. But look at those beautiful colors on that wallpaper border. Isn't that lovely? I loved it. I do get the question a lot of, Misty, you have this big building. What, what's the deal? Why don't, why don't you have a store? Well, we did. Um, we had Wildflower Antiques and we were open for about five years. When we first opened, we were open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, Mark and I were both working full-time jobs, and so we, we were here when we could, and we had hired um, people to work for us when we couldn't be here. Um, but we didn't have a day off, so we worked seven days a week. And when, you're, when you have an antique business, you kind of have to go out and you need, a, you need to find the stuff to, to, to fill it, to maintain your business. So we weren't able to go to auctions or uh, really our yard sale times were limited. So it just got really old really quick. I tend to make things a lot more harder than the, what they need to be. And during the holidays, I would transform the shop. I would have like seven or eight Christmas trees up. I'll, I'll post some pictures around here so you can see some of of what the shop looked like when we were, you know, fully open. One day we were in here, we were taking down all of the Christmas items and putting them away and reconfiguring the shop again. And I just, I just decided I was done. I just decided I was done. Now we had won the best antique store in Lawrence County for three years straight. So we, we, and our business was fine. We were doing, we were doing fine, but the time that we were putting into it just, it was a lot. It was a lot of time that we were putting into it. So we just decided that we were just done and I was going to just start selling things on eBay full time. So I did that for a couple of years. Um, and then I had an idea. I thought, well, I, maybe I could like try to sell some of these things you know, on, on my YouTube channel and maybe have a live sale. Let, let's just see. So I did that and you know, I didn't sell very many things in the beginning and the live sales were a very new thing. Um, but then they started to catch on and um, it's just kind of gone from there. And I love what I do. It's the best job in the world. I'm so blessed and lucky that I get to do the thing that I love to do every single day. And you guys are a big part of that. So thank you so much for all of your support and helping me, you know, kind of live out this dream. Um, now the way we have a lot of stuff, right? I showed you, we have a lot of stuff. Now keep in mind that 
I've been raised in an antique store. I've been around antiques my entire life. I am 46 years old and my parents were taking me to antique shows and flea markets when I was, you know, before I was even walking. So to me, it was it was always a normal thing. I thought everybody sold antiques. This was, this was a job that it was a very normal thing for me. I thought that everybody did this. So a lot of these things that I'm surrounded by are things that my dad and my mom had purchased growing up. And over the years, I mean, he's done this for, for, for as long as I can remember. So he would set up at antique booths and he would sell things at flea markets and stuff. And you know, it was kind of always his dream to have an, a brick and mortar antique store. And we were able to purchase this building and we did, and it was great. And it was great to see dad's kind of vision kind of be fulfilled. However, dad wasn't, dad didn't want to run, like he didn't want to be stuck here either. So he understood that it was taking all of our time. You know, he, he going out and buying the stuff is the great part, but the business aspect of it, your taxes, your insurance, your, everything else that goes along with it, um, having a brick and mortar is very time consuming. Um, so that, that kind of helped helped with the decision for us to close as well. Um, we do own the building outright. So the only thing we pay on our, is our electricity and our taxes. So it just made sense for me to get all of my reselling business out of my house and into this building. And it's been, it's been great. Um, but my issue where I'm having right now is, you know, I have kind of all of my reselling area set up pretty good, but well, I'm gonna show you all of this stuff up here. Now, I am wanting to have a pop-up shop. I would like to have one very soon. It's going to be a little bit different because a lot of the things do have prices on them in here. I'm gonna turn the camera around. A lot of the price, a lot of the things in here do still have price tags on them because, you know, they were kind of left over from, you know, the shop being open, you can see price tags hanging off of a lot of these things. Some things don't have price tags on. Uh, honestly, some of the things that I brought up here, like this beautiful lamp, look at how beautiful. It has a little, a little boo-boo right there, but you know, you can put that in the back. But look at this beautiful stained glass lamp. I'm not gonna ship that. So I, I have things kind of pushed up here, are things that I don't necessarily, well, that I won't ship, like that scale and, you know, the vanities and the furniture. This is Emma's bike. We won't pay attention to that, but all of these trunks. Uh, I have a lot of crocs and shelves and clocks and art and just bubblegum machines. I have a lot of stuff. So the thing of it is I have blocked off this section past these, past these trunks and this cabinet here is my reselling business so this is this is a little sit setting area but over here is where i film or i have my live sales on tuesdays and wednesdays i have an area set back up over here where i do my haul videos and then we have emma's desk and kind of our our shipping area our inventory is all kept back there now a lot of the things back there are smalls and manageable things that's a ridiculous amount of linens. I need to have a linen sale, but I do have all of my resource books. And a lot of these things are things that people have sent me. So I just have, you know, my shelves full of things that I, that have been sent to me that I just enjoy and look at when I'm here. Here's Pinky. Pinky's my love. We love Pinky. Pinky is a beautiful old built in. I wish Pinky was still this color. This was his original collar or her original collar, but someone's painted her pink, but I kind of like the pink too. But I have, I, this is like, this is my new little hidey hole cabinet here. I, I have one at home too, but um, I have Christmas items that will be available to sell around the holidays. Um, Halloween and Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day. Ooh, you're coming up, 4th of July. Uh, and then I have things set up for my live sales. But where my issue is, is from where I'm standing forward will be 
the the retail space but do you want i now listen i'm gonna say do you want to walk in here and i know 15 of you are gonna say me 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 i will i will because i would i mean i would want to come through here and dig through all this stuff i would but me being me and the way that I have envisioned things and the way that I would like for things to be, I want it set up pretty. So I've been slowly kind of working on getting things set up to have a pop-up shop. However, I have things in here that just are in my way, like all of these primitive tools, which I know there's a market for. I, I know this. I know that I could sell all these things. I don't have the time to do it though. So I, those need, I need to do something about those. And like, I'm not shipping this statue or that statue or the ships. I really don't want to ship the cookie jars or that ship, but we've, we've got cool stuff guys. So I am looking at doing a pop-up soon. I, I just want your input. What is your input? Now, I am going to have to... I, I cannot open up the shop with this right here. Because nobody can see it. And this just makes me crazy. So, I'm going to have to... You know... So, you can get in there. See all that restaurant wear that's in this cabinet. And all of those bottles. I've got Aladdin lamps over there. i got a lot of lamps. i got a lot of lamps. This TV has been sold. So, that's going to be going away. But I need some input. And I guess the input that I want is... What are your expectations if you come to a pop-up shop? Do you want things all priced? And honestly, I don't even and honestly, I don't even know why I'm asking you that because I probably won't price everything. It's going to very much be, "Oh, I like this and I will give you a price." Because the pricing of the things is what takes so much time. I'm at the point where I just need to get rid of things. Because I I walk through these doors every day and I see all of this stuff and it honestly just makes me crazy so let me let me know leave me a comment would you come to my pop-up shop if i had one it would be on a saturday um would you be okay if i just said hey you know i'll give you a price if you show show up i'll i'll, I'll give you a price like i said though most things most things have prices on them. A lot of things do, but not everything. Not everything. But I can't have this all here. That that will make us all crazy. We will all go crazy if we have to muddle through all the. And quite honestly, I don't want anybody to get hurt. So, two question. Two questions. One, would you be interested in coming to a pop up shop? Two, two, would you be okay if things weren't, if not everything was priced? And trust me, I'm going to give you a deal because this stuff's got to go. But I still, I mean, you know, I still need to make some money off of it. So don't be thinking I'm going to give the stuff away as my dad would say. Don't give it away, Misty. Don't give it away. I'm not going to give it away. But we've got, we've got to clear out this space. So let's do this together. Let's clear out this space. Make sure that you come to my pop-up shop. I will be announcing very soon when I'm going to have it. And that's the thing too. I need to just say, okay, brain, you're going to have your pop-up on this day. Just announce it. Get it on the calendar. That's when it's going to be. So I'm going to work on that. But if you ever have any questions regarding why I do the things that I do, well, first of all, join the club because that list is, is rather long. But I just kind of kind of wanted to like kind of reintroduce things and because I do get a lot of questions why don't you have a shop why don't you open a brick and mortar and honestly my my short answer is I don't want to be stuck I don't want to be if I want to go to an auction like I did today and be there all day on a Saturday I want to be able to do that that's just the way it is I don't want to be tied down uh so I hope that that answers some of the questions and I hope you don't think that I'm too awfully crazy. Uh, but we, we gotta, we gotta do something about this mess guys. We, we do. We, we, we really do. We, we got, I got some good stuff in there, but 
it just, it's, it, it needs to go. Most of the stuff up here is things that I have had for a very long time, or it, it is things that I really don't want to ship. So that's the deal with that. But all of this is over, you know, over 50 years of buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. That's why I've accumulated so many things because I've inherited a lot of the things and dad and I both buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. So it does, it, you, if you resell, you know it doesn't take long for you to get some stuff. And honestly, being a content creator, you have to go shopping. I have to go shopping. I have I have to film myself shopping. I am going to to probably do a little bit more filming here at the shop, kind of like a behind the scenes sort of thing. Uh, so let me know if you'd be interested in that as well. I mean, the shop with me's are fun and all, but. I think if I do these and maybe y'all will help me keep me a little bit of a little bit accountable to say, okay, Misty, let's do this pile today. So I know I got to make a video and we're going to tackle this pile over here. So let me know if that's something that you would like to see as well. But thank you so much for watching. This was just, I didn't plan, I didn't think I was even going to film this video today, but I was kind of walking through here and I thought, you know, Let's talk about it. Let's, I want to get input. I love getting y'all's input. I love it. I love reading comments and, and, and with, you know, your suggestions and ideas and things that you have. So don't stop that. Keep those coming. Because you do. You, you, you give me inspiration sometimes. Um, I have these wacky ideas. And sometimes I think that they're silly. Um, but sometimes they work. So we just never know. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you would. I would really appreciate it. And listen, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a ride. So buckle up, baby. It's gonna be a ride. And I hope that you will enjoy me. No, I hope that you will enjoy watching me stress out and go through these piles. Okay, just be nice. Just be nice. All right. So subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Sometimes I might just go live and say, you know, I'm going to do this corner right now. We're going to do this corner right now. And you can help me. We're all in this together. We're going to get this. We're going to get this straightened up. We're going to do it. Now, my eventual goal is to be able to have this space open so I can have pop-ups maybe once a quarter. So I, I need to have this kind of a canvas where I can, I can do that. I can have these pop-ups once a quarter or so. So that's the end goal. That's the end goal. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go now. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Bum 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 bum